Hi everyone, this is Rajendran here from Market Calls and uh, today we're going to explore the open chart, an exciting open source Python library designed for uh, developers, traders and data enthusiasts. So who need to get access to historical NSE and NFO data? So if you've been looking for a simple way to download and analyze historical stock and derivative data, so you are in the right place. So let's get started. So what is exactly open chart? Well, open chart is an uh, open source Python library that lets you easily download the historical data, historical intraday and uh, end of the day data for equities and derivatives from the NSE and NFO exchanges. It also supports multiple time frames ranging from one minute, five minute, 15 minute, uh, hourly data, daily, weekly, monthly, higher time frame data. So it uh, sounds powerful, right? And uh, let's go and install the Python library. So I'm going to do pip install uh, open chart. So that should be installing the pip chart, I mean open chart and its dependency libraries. So once the installation is successful, let's go and uh, uh, explore. I will go and import the libraries and initialize the NSC data class. Yeah, so the library import and NSE data class initialization is done. So now let's uh, go and uh, do one of the most important uh, thing. This is a most critical thing also. So we'll go and download the master contract data. This will download all the symbols and uh, related information for the NSE and uh, FNO markets. So this will download it. So once the download is done, now we're going to get into the uh, we're going to get into fetching intraday data. So let's go and fetch 5-minute interval data for uh, Reliance for the past 30 days. So I'm going to import the library import date and time, which is an inbuilt library. And the end date, I'm going to set as right now. What is the current date? I'm going to set that. And start date, I'm going to use a delta of last 30 days is what I'm going to use over here. And once I set the start date and end date, I'm going to go and use the historical function. So this will fetch the historical data for Reliance from the exchange NSC and with the start date and end date, whatever we had uh, set for the interval five minute data. And I'm going to show the data in a data frame format. Pandas data frame is what we're going to use here. So let's go and execute it. This will be fetching us in the Pandas data frame format, right? This data frame is not showing all the data, but it has 1557 records of data is what we are having that that means uh, 1557 one minute data is what we are having over here with open high low close and volume information and not only that uh, let's say if i want to fetch historical data for the future contract for 15 minute maybe for the last 30 days 30 days is what the maximum supported uh, uh, time frame from the nsc exchanges so let's do it for Bank Nifty uh, Futures. October contract is what I'm trying to download. And exchange is NFO. Interval is 15 minute. So let's go and uh, run this. This will be fetching the data from the uh, NFO exchange for Bank Nifty. Yeah, so we're getting this Bank Nifty data. Let me also bring the latest data. If you want to get the latest data, let's say like data.tail. So data.tail will fetch you the top five, the recent five information, right? The recent five information, five records, I'll be able to fetch it from the, uh, for the symbol bank of team. And followed by that, I'm going to fetch the end of the day data. So end of the day data, NSC provides right from 2000 onwards, the year 2000 onwards. So here for timing, I'm going to use it for like uh, last uh, 10 years of uh, Intraday data is what I'm going to fetch for the symbol Nifty 50. Nifty 50 is the index and exchange is NSE. So I'm going to say 1D. 1D refers to daily data. Let me go and uh, execute this. So that should be getting me the historical data for the last 10 years, right? So last 10 years of uh, daily data, I'm able to get over here. Later on, you can use it for backtesting or maybe you can use it for... Uh, uh, further analysis for plotting purpose. But one thing, let me be very clear. This data is coming directly from NSE and uh, the data is not right now adjusted to split or bonus. 
so you have to uh, aware about that and here are the list of supported time frame so just use uh, print uh, nse dot time frames this will fetch you the list of supported time frames over here so these are the list of supported time frames 1 minute 3 minute 5 minute 10 minute 15 minute 30 minute hourly daily weekly and monthly and uh, we can also use this to search for symbols from the master contract let's go and down search for the symbol reliance so any symbol that you want you can uh, search it from here let's say we'll go for zomato right so that should be fetching the data for zomato so this is a equivalent zomato symbol and let's go to the search for uh, symbols in futures so i'm going to type uh, 24 october future current month is we are in the october month so if you want to list the list of all the october month contract so enter the year followed by the month followed by fut and select the exchange as nfo if i try to print it this should be printing all the f and o exchanges symbols right so from here you can see all the symbol uh, format you can able to see that and then followed by that uh, the if in case if you want to get the exact match so you just type the exact symbol value and then you can go with that so that will be giving the exact symbol values over here and not only that if in case you want to uh, get the option symbol so you can enter the strike price let's say something like 24 500 so in that case I'll, i should be able to get all the symbols related to the contract uh, i mean strike price 24 500 all the weekly monthly all the expiries will be listing over here so right now in nifty nifty uh, the expiry month that particular month data so i can fetch the symbols from here so let's chart is all about making data access simple and efficient whether you are a trader an analyst or a developer i hope this video has been show you how easy it is to get started with open chart so if you enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up and if you have any questions or you need a deep dive into, if you need to know about specific features, so drop a comment below. So don't forget to subscribe for more trading tools, coding tutorials and market insights. Until next time, happy trading. Thank you.